Let's see here. I would say button check because I see. Yeah, it's button check. I think. I th I think this is real. I just didn't know N had an Olimar. Wow. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's our apologies. Uh, this is actually a match now. In a couple months ago, I actually said, you know, I'm done with Olimar, man. I'm focusing more on Pit, but, you know, don't count some of these characters out, man. One thing I w I've always said about Nev is, like, he knows his matchups very well against other good characters. Mm -hmm. But when guys start using uh, characters like Olimar, characters that we don't normally see very often, sometimes Nev is a little fish out of water with that, and he needs a day to go on YouTube and get the scoop on a character that he'll be good the next day. And this I'm not quite sure if Nev has ever played in uh, Olimar, or I guess Alfred. And, and Skillager's always had a Kirby, mm -hmm. so this isn't too much of a surprise that he pulls out Kirby. But this is a very interesting doubles, uh, I don't want to say gimmick, but their strategy that they have. Kirby pocketing Olimar gives Kirby the ability to throw Pikmin yes, sir. with no end lag. Just will literally just, he doesn't have to pick out po uh, Pikmin, nope. he can just throw them out rapid fire. Absolutely. So just like that, he can just space people out with those Pikmin, just throwing it across stage. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a thing right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want you guys to know, now Alf, uh, he does not give Kirby the blue Pikmin, though. Now, the blue Pikmin is what Alf uses to get his long-range grabs. The other three are more for attacking. But okay. the, the purple one obviously hitting the hardest. Now, I, I missed back in Brawl where if Olimar would pick the Pikmin close to the edge of the stage, the purple ones and the white ones actually stayed closer. The other ones just jumped off and died. Um, but obviously, I, I think that's been taken out here just due to the fact that you can't have five, six Pikmin here. You can only have three in this iteration. But also, non-Pikmin players don't miss Olimar Brawl, where you could have five Pikmin. Yeah. Pikmin out. That was insane. Ooh. Ooh, that would have killed. A little bit too much rage there on Nev's behalf. Um, I don't think he quite knows Olimar's, or Alf, excuse me, Alf's ding-dong percent. No. I don't think a lot of people do. This is the first time I've seen Olimar or Alf uh, mm -hmm. on stage in quite some time. Oh, wow. Oh. Not like this. Oh, but you know what? Nev actually has been taking Cody down. Each That's the second time Cody has been able to uh, make Nev SD, yeah. essentially, mm -hmm. or gimp him. Yeah. But Nev has taken Skilliger all the way to the bottom where Skilliger actually can't recover. Now, the issue with that is you know, DK has no coverage on the top or bottom mm -hmm. of him. Now, obviously, lateral, he's a very, very strong character. It's pretty hard to trade with him. Uh, pretty hard to hit him out of his up special, but you know, uh, from on top, it's he's a little lackluster, and it's definitely starting to show here now. Kirby being able to pretty much expose him relatively easy here now. You know, he's going Kirby, and ends going Olimar, but I would have liked to see that that Rodney me. Not a lot. <laughs> I would have liked Everyone. to see that. Oh, the double back foot! Kirby absorbed Alf and said, "Hey, I got you. You're gonna be safe in my stomach." Yeah. And DK. Safe strongly and, disagreed with that. Safe and sound, just like how the song goes. <laughs> wow. Uh, very interesting set. I thought that was a button check there at first, and then it ended up turning into an actual match. Because it started or... with a gimp in four seconds. Yeah, so I'm like, wow, okay, they're just screwing around. I was like, oh, no, that's <laughs> the actual strategy they're going for. Okay. Wow. Very fantastic gameplay, though, there. We're getting ready to get into game two. I actually put out our real character, so this match could be very uh, could be very def detrimental to obviously both teams' health. Now, we have Lucario, a character at high percent who could kill you at a uh, very low percent. Uh, DK obviously being able to kill very early as well too. As well, if you got the the DK ding dong percent to memorize, um, obviously Villager being able to get you with the easy gimps. Pit is the only X factor now. Unfortunately, he does not kill very easy. At low percents, he racks up damage. Now, usually for a character like that, you know you rack up a lot of damage. Your teammate can just come in and get the kill. But sadly, Villager is not a very aggressive character like that. Mm -hmm. And. and Olimar plays a little bit like, uh, at least the way I play Olimar, is kind of like the way I would play Pit. Like you said, just chipping damage. Like, Olimar can chip so much, deceivingly yes, so much damage by throwing the Pikmin out because they'll stick to the opponent and just deal a few percent every second. Mm -hmm. So I, I, maybe they just want to test out because they're in the winner's side and yeah. blue team needs to get the reset. Yes, sir. Maybe they're like, eh, let's just try it. Let's just give it a go. So Dreamland for game two. Can't disagree with the uh, Fountain of Dreams song. Oh, absolutely not. Now, N is going to have to make sure he stays on stage as much as possible. He has a lot more distance to recover from the left and right portions of the stage. And then on top of that, his up special is very prone to get caught up underneath there and get uh, him getting pineapple. So, going to have to play safe. Um, all three characters here besides Pick can kill very early off top as well, too. The ceiling here is deceptively low. I know everybody thinks it's high because it's shaped like Battlefield, but it is uh, definitely lower. Now, I wouldn't say a uh, villager kills early, but if he gets the three turnips, yeah, it, it'll kill earlier than like one turnip. So. Every so often, Cody has some of them days where everything is just three. Like he just gets three everything. Oh, the tech by Nev and the tech by Skillager. Right. 
showing their dominance as the uh, first and second best players right here in the whole state of Nebraska. So, this is, As their team says, dang fundamentals. So. Absolutely. Oh, and the up smash by N kills Nev. Yes, it does. Now, the good thing about Pizza versus Pit here is that at low percents, they both play a very similar game. It's not to a high percent. Oh, wow. Cody's been killing everybody with that today. That down tilt is deceivingly good. Yeah. Is that, that is down tilt or up tilt? Down tilt. Or is it uh, – no, because up tilt is the wand. Yeah. But I think he just plucked something from the ground, so that's the down tilt. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man, Cody has been killing a lot with his tilts here lately. It's something I haven't normally seen in a while, though. You know, he usually gets a lot of bowling ball kills, especially on a stage like this. We kind of just drop him off the platforms. But I think right when the match start, N actually ran right into a bowling ball. So, sadly, um, I think he might, you know, chill out on it for a little bit. And every character has a tilt move that is much better than a smash attack. A uh, good up air by Nev. Oh, but oh wow! didn't tech that one, and Skillager gets the kill. Absolutely. Just even in the back out as quickly as uh, N just lost that first stock. Now, N doing a very good job here at keeping his percents low. Um, I think he probably should focus more on fighting DK, not so much Lucario. Unfortunately, Pit is very good, but I don't know if he can deal with Lucario. Okay, now at this point, we got a 2-1v1 situation happening on stage, and it's the battle of the used-to-be teammates. Mm -hmm. So let's see how much download that both of these uh, guys, both of these two teams have on each other. Really, I'd say the one that doesn't have as much experience playing against these characters is N playing against Pizza. We don't see Pizza too much in singles. We see him in doubles. Uh, but he's kind of taking a drop from singles, so mm -hmm. I don't know if N knows the matchup against Lucario that much. Absolutely. And Pizza is a very, very – oh, wow. Oh, the spike in the footstool, but – Wow, and that oh, just comes Lucario's from – Lucario's recovery. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. And it's very similar to what Pit has, though. It does have the hitbox on it. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, that ding-dong almost taking him out. Now, DK with a little bit more rage, it would definitely be enough to kill. Oh, use the bow and arrow to keep DK's back here away. Oh, what, something traded with uh, Donkey Kong and uh, Villager, but I'm not sure what. Oh, that's why it's so hard to gimp uh, Villager, because you can get rid of the balloons, but if you hit him, yes. then he gets his up special back. Yeah, he does. Okay, now this is rough right now because the blue team is definitely down in terms of percentages and stocks, so they're going to have to try and figure something out very quick here. The up smash yeah. does take him out, and now we got a 2v1 situation. He was going for the B reverse into Aura Shot. <laughs> He oh killed boy. in with that earlier. This is going to be a. Oh, wow. Maybe not as difficult as I thought. Ah. Now, this is Ray's Lucar here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, an over special uh, on the side of the stage could kill Pit, I believe, yes, sir. with this much rage. However, it's going to be tough to go against a villager mm -hmm. all alone. Now, he did have him with the up smash right there, but the up smash from Pit ended up trading with the forward air, I believe, from villager, which kind of mm -hmm. canceled it out. But they do end up fishing it out and solidifying that victory. Skillager plus N will take game two here in grand finals at high potential. Okay, so. Hmm. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. See, I like the way you're holding the fight stick. You're like, oh man, if this is Smash, I do like. Oh yeah, man, I've, I'd be a uh, dash attack. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I mess around with this thing a lot, dude. It's, uh, it's You can actually hold that with with two hands. Just, yeah. just, oh, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold it like a regular controller. Put some grips on the side. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, that was my ticket into uh, fight sticks, man. I tried to use them for Smash, but uh, sadly, the fight sticks just aren't uh, – uh, of course, you just can't tilt. You yeah. Can't, you can't tilt in Smash. And I know when I first bought the fight stick, I got something that we tried to do back in Lincoln. But um, it's definitely a fun little tidbit, though, to play with sometimes. I think it's a gamer's – every gamer out there needs to have a fight stick. Yeah, you just – Even you if you one. don't use it, it's – it's like an arcade cabinet, and unfortunately, kids these days yeah. might not know what that is. They better not, because the only place you can play arcades here in town is Beer Cade, and shouldn't be any kids <laughs> up in there. Shouldn't be any kids up in oh, Beer no. Cade today. Sadly, they're missing out, but I don't think Beer Cade's going any, anywhere anytime soon. But <laughs> not, not with our demographic. So. Absolutely not. We got Team Pokemon Tournament right here from the old. Nice. He reversed into Shadow, uh, Shadow Ball there. Mm -hmm. And that was a fully charged one, so good job by N to DI out of that. Yes, sir. So. Uh, Baited the air dodge, but good job by N to uh, jump out of uh, Nev's up smash, or excuse me, up air or forward air, probably. Yeah, probably forward air. I think that's what Nev fishes for quite a bit with uh, Mewtwo now. One, one thing I do like about the green team is that they do have the tools essential to basically keep the shadow balls out. Obviously, uh, Villager can pocket the shadow ball and the aura shot. N obviously has the, uh, the reflector as well, too, his down special. So we'll see how well that works. 
Mewtwo, a very character to kill, a very easy character to kill, excuse me, at early percent. But we have Lucario, a character that's not the easiest to kill, um, but it's probably best to kill him as early as possible. True, true. Oh, wow. Good tech right there. Oh, oh yeah, nothing to tech there, unfortunately. No, sir. He said not a second time. I don't think that was untechable. I, I just don't think he hit the stage. Yeah, I don't think he was ready for that either. Now, in having a bit of an issue with Mewtwo right now, Mewtwo's air mobility is uh, definitely starting to work in his advantage. It's starting to cancel out some of uh, some of Pits. And Mewtwo actually got some buffs. He went his uh, his weight increased, his run speed increased. Yes, sir. Uh, his up smat duration decreased, but in a way that could be, you could argue that's a buff and a nerf at the same time. Yeah. Because it lasts a long time. Yeah. But that's definitely a buff and a nerf. Yeah. And then his nair, uh, his multi hit. Uh, size increase. So yeah, his Nair is pretty godly. Now his Nair, it is. Sure how Nair will turn the opponent backwards actually, which will result in uh, Mewtwo coming right in to grab you or possibly waiting for you to turn around and to disable. So Mewtwo does a very, very good job with the tools that he has. I like to joke around and say that Mewtwo actually had the first witch time because if he hits you with that disable, <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> true, true. Let's see, but other than Mewtwo, all these characters didn't receive any changes in the last patch. No, sir. Uh, good job to Sakurai for basically uh, you know, closing the cast down and making it a bit closer. Um, yeah. A lot of the characters now are a lot more even than what they used to be. Uh, Sheik used to body. Now she kind of gets bodied a little bit. You know, She has to work a little bit harder for kills. Witch Time got nerfed a little bit. Uh, finishing Touch got slightly nerfed. Cloud didn't really get as many nerfs as he should have got out of all the DLC characters. He's but still pretty uh, oof, difficult to play against. Yeah, not the funnest character. Cloud, there's always one character in every Smash game that changes the meta in doubles. Mm -hmm. Cloud is that character. Lucario was the one in the last game. Um, Double Fox, I believe, in Melee was pretty rough as well, too. That still is a team in Melee. They're not going to receive any patches. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. Yet. We're stuck with that. <laughs> it's been 20 years. We're stuck with that. And 64 players are like, well, we'll get a patch. We're, we'll get one. Yeah, one day soon. <laughs> Maybe we'll get that uh, HD 64. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ooh, and a shared stock by blue team, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's evened up on stocks. Yes, it has. Okay, so nice jabs right there. Villager's jab is pretty difficult to trade with. You know, when he starts throwing those out, your best bet is just DI out of it. You're not going to be able to get anything in. You oh. might be able to get an up special oh. out. Oh, wow. You got to – he got a weight increase, but he's still pretty light. So. Yeah, he's not second lightest. Um, I think Game of Watch is still third, but – he might be tied with either Kirby or Rosalina now, so. Oh, wow. Oh, this is tough because, yeah, if he lands on stage, he has so much end lag. So it's it's difficult for Lucario to recover if he doesn't snap the ledge. The team combos right now are real here, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, for the green team. Team combos on each other. <laughs> right, I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> that pivot grab right there to basically set the whole thing up off ledge. Oh, wow. And it's risky for Lucario to throw. Oh, the forward. Uh-oh. Now, this ain't fun because... Lucario has the tools right now to kill Villager at a very, very low percent. Now, unfortunately, he just took in out. Um, Villager does very, very well in, in sticky situations like this. Oh, wow. Or, oh, he's got oh, I need that. No, I don't know why he threw I it. I need that. Oh! oh, wow, but that's yours. Okay, threw charge it back. it back up. Charge it back up. Okay, now this but is. He's got to be very careful. These two teamed with each other for the longest time. Uh, so they're very familiar with each other's character, very familiar with the way they play. Oh, oh wow. these Shorehop. forward airs and back airs are doing a lot of damage. Yes, sir. Short hop forward air. Oh, but oh, sadly. No, he's got he's got the distance to recover. It's just a matter of Okay. Now against Villager one on one, he can recover like that on stage because Villager is not the fastest to punish that sort of recovery. Absolutely not. Okay, so at that point, it's like do I shield the Lloyd Rocket and force you to run in and grab me, or do I just counter and hope I don't, you know, end my counter animation anywhere close to you? Oh, oh no! Pizza exploded the Lloyd Rocket in front of him. With this, oh my god. Now, if that Lloyd Rocket was not there, I cannot say that Cody would have lived. I feel like Cody probably would have been deceased. That, oh man, that would have been so close. And in my opinion, Skillager is still the best at DIing, yeah. and that still would have been close if, if he got hit by that. Team Pokemon here, ladies and gentlemen. Very fantastic job, man. Lucario and Mewtwo, a team that I, you know, should be a thing, you know, but I have not. I, have I can not see it. because Mewtwo players might be a little bitter. Like, oh. hey, I was supposed to be in Brawl. No, there, I don't no, know who no you little. are. So. There's, there's no little bitter, bro. Like, if you wanted to play Mewtwo uh, a couple years ago, you had to play Project M. And, I mean, uh, that's right. to switch from Brawl to Project M competitively, it's kind of rough. So, Granted, I have to give a shout-out to the Mewtwo 
for having the best alternate costume in PM. Oh, God. That, yeah. that is the best. Oh, yeah, the Mewtwo with the uh, the armor. Why is that not a me costume in Smash Bros? Sakurai, what's going on? I don't know. Maybe it's because it was not in. It was never in the game. True. Possibly yeah. it was more of an anime thing. I'm not quite sure if they try to take omens from the TV shows. I think they should. Get Pikachu Surf. You put a Virtua Fighter 1 blocky 3D Sega Dreamcast yeah. costume. Is, is Pokemon Mewtwo a stretch to have? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, Sakurai. Why do you lie to us for? I want to give a shout-out to uh, Sean and Ed. They're actually meeting each other in bracket and singles over there. Oh, that's very uh, unfortunate. Two House Lilac members. That's very unfortunate. Not sure which one's in winners or if both are in losers, or, but uh, they, they've had some – they've both been leveling up in Lincoln, so I'm sure that's going to be a good set. But back to doubles here. Now, I know that this set – this stage right here was picked by Dr. PC. He's expressed third lad. This is probably his favorite, not only just Omega, stage in general. So, I, I can I can feel your inner Rodney just going, yes. Yeah. This, this a different Omega. So yeah, one that doesn't give me a headache. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Final Destination, man, uh, gives me some epilepsy, bro. All the flashing <laughs> lights. Can't do it, man. I'm not Kanye West. I don't do well with flashing <laughs> lights. <laughs> oh, Does man. it make you stronger? No, so. sir. No, I don't. <laughs> No, sir, it doesn't. But yeah, but hopefully one of these two teams are trying to come out as a champion here today. So hopefully let's see uh, how Team Pokemon can do. Now, I really like this uh, this team combination. I always felt like this was probably going to happen sooner or later. I was just waiting for it all day. Nev's Mew 2, uh, Lucario hosted by Dr. Pizza. Let's see what happens. Oh, the footstool. Oh, my the God. The footstool to the – what is a – it's not – oh, Oh, I'm sorry, Lucario. <laughs> um, it, it would probably be footstool from Lucario, Mew 2 a run up and jab. Um, and then obviously go Ooh, from there. Awesome. And it was Lucario that used his shadow. It's not called Shadow Ball. What's the Lucario's neutral called? Uh, probably like Aura, some form of Aura. Aura Ball, okay. Yeah, I'm, like you said before, I'm pretty salty at Lucario for making it into Brawl and not Mewtwo. I'm, I'm a Gen 1, baby. I don't know anything about Gen 4. But. Look at these footstools. And with the footstool, comboing it to a uh, forward smash. Yes, sir. And I think that's partially because N spends a lot of time with Pit in the short hop. Obviously, a lot of Pit's strongest moves, back air, forward or up air, come out you know, I'm, you know, up close. And, and I the short hop. And I don't think that was a jab lock, but I've noticed Dr. Pizza, uh, he always recovers the same way when he gets knocked down. He just goes straight up. He doesn't roll to one side. He never does wake up attack. He always just gets up. So yeah. um, if Green Team picks up on that, that'll be a good way for them to punish uh, Dr. Pizza unless he does, unless he mixes it up. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Absolutely, man. I definitely agree with you. Um, Mew 2 right now sitting at 108%, which is really strange. Light has gone on the stage uh, living the longest here. I guess that's good because you want to – I mean, if you could take Lucario out as fast as possible, then you'll be okay. Now, this isn't like Brawl where once Mewtwo starts losing stocks, Lucario gets stronger. It's just, you know, it is what it is. It's just only damage gets him strong, not the uh, the team deficit. Oh, oh that's wow. the wrong person to shoot that at. Yeah. So that's me, bro. That, that, was, <laughs> that was that bitterness. He's like, oh, you salty for not being in Brawl? You see, I, mean, I, waited, <laughs> I waited a whole eight years to come back to Smash. I think you had to pay for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grab by uh, Pitt there. The one thing I, I do have about Nev's Mewtwo, the only gripe I have is like, he doesn't use all of Mewtwo's tools. He kind of just fishes for forward air a lot. He did, he did a forward air there to kill. Yeah, the forward air. But, uh, but I'm with you. Yeah, absolutely. He just fishes for forward air a lot. Now, Mewtwo has a lot of good mix up tools. Uh, you know, down throw, uh, low percent, down throw in the forward smash, or down smash, excuse me. Um, and on top of that, disable. I don't see the disable movement. A short hop disable actually cancels Mewtwo's jump. So he can oh, do that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, eye level to still take you out. So. Wow, Villager playing a very good ledge game, man. It's borderline planking. What is I do fit? like Neb's, uh, uh, his B reverses and his side special to mix up the way he's been landing on the ground. Oh, I've yeah. seen N and uh, Skillager, like, w w where is Nev going to land? I'm not sure. Definitely agree, man. It's hard to uh, tell. That movement from Mewtwo is pretty immaculate right now. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Almost had it. Now, Mewtwo doesn't snap ledge when he comes back, so at least not right away. Wow, and these two Pokemon right now are uh, trying to dominate this set here. But keep in mind, the green team def. Oh, wow. Why is your throw. shield? And doing a, fa a fantastic job. Basically, DIing out of a lot of what Lucario's been doing. Now, that's the second time he got caught in that, and he DI'd out of it. So, Oh, forward air was enough to kill Mewtwo. Yeah. That slingshot. Oh, wow. So, Nor, basically what Nor was going to do there, he was actually going to do his side special. Um, it was actually going to reflect what Mewtwo was throwing, and it would have killed him. But I think what happened was Villager ended up getting in the way of that and ended up canceling it out, and he ended up getting punished. So now we got Villager stuck in a 2v1, and what better character to be stuck in a 2v1 with 
Then Villager. Now, if I'm a uh, blue team right now, I think I would keep uh, Mewtwo up front a little bit. He's got the Reflector, and that's all. There you go. Yeah. Now, that's all Villager is going to be using is a lot of projectiles. Yeah, so at this point, you know, you got Lucario, who's basically hitting like a tank. You know, but they also got Mewtwo at a very uh, low percent. Um, you know, and not, on top of that, not a lot of rage on this side, too. But Mewtwo Spike, if he can catch that on Villager, Skilliger here, uh, that kills him very early. I know most Spikes usually don't kill very early, but Mewtwo is one of the stronger ones, man. Just puts those two toes on top of your head, and that's it. True. And both of them have a fully charged uh, neutral special um, because if Villager does pocket one of them, it's very vulnerable for the other one to throw something. Yeah. Oh, nice. Wait it. Uses a grab armor to his advantage. He waited till the Lloyd Rock could hit him now. At this point, keep in mind, Mewtwo does have an up throw. At that, I, mean, I know Mewtwo doesn't have any rage, but... At this percent, I think he's he's getting there. Yeah. Now, do you... The question is, do you bait it? Oh, wow. He almost pocketed that. Now, that could have got very scary. Good back oh, throw. Oh, the back throw. That'll do it. But, like you said, he's an up throw kill percent. Yes, sir. Any extra damage on Mewtwo is just going to... Build up that rage. Now, this is what Nev has been waiting for. He's been waiting to see how well his Mewtwo fares against Villager here. Oh, this is really close. Because, like you said, Mewtwo doesn't grab, uh, snap the ledge right away. Mm -hmm. He's got to be ready to tech those possible stage spikes. Yes, he does. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that's, that's it. That's it. Yes. That's it. And we're going to game five, ladies and gentlemen. Now, blue team needs to win. Or, excuse me. Uh, yes, blue team needs to win this to reset the bracket. Yeah. Yeah, blue team definitely has to win this now. They're doing a very, very good job there. Ooh, looks like uh, Lucario had a, had a Mewtwo death under his belt. Uh-oh. Some slight miss uh, team synergy, but regardless, they still edged that one out. Now, we don't see a, a character switch. We see him staying. I could see character switches by anyone if the bracket is reset. We might have to do a double blind pick. You know, Nev's got a Mario and a Donkey Kong. I don't expect Skilliger to change his character. I don't expect N to change his character. Uh, maybe Pizza wants to try Marth if the brackets reset. Uh, Marth wouldn't be bad. I feel Even like Marth, Wario, he's got a Wario too. Marth might be able to do a little bit better against Villager off stage. I feel just because with the swords and everything, um, obviously he has a lot of range. Tipper could take away the balloons very easily. Um, but it looks like he's just going for, hey man, you just hit me too hard. Just keep hitting me, man. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll use my aura yeah. against you later. <laughs> and I'm not mad at that. You two almost carrying a. Uh, Villager all the way off the edge of the stage. Yes, uh, he sir. was doing really good with uh, comboing those forward airs, but uh, didn't connect the last one. Yeah, unfortunately did not. Oh, wow, nice forward air right there. Okay, he gets a forest mask there, sending Lucario clear off the side of the screen, but uh, finding a way back. Now, this stage, uh, for characters with, like Pitt and Lucario who have those types of recoveries there, the kinds where they have to just kind of aim it and hope nobody hits them, um, Battlefield can be kind of rough for him. Oh, Ooh, I, I think that fully charged Aura Sphere uh, hit Villager. Yeah, it did. Uh-oh. Okay. Now, Mewtwo is pretty difficult to see sometimes at the top of the screen just because his air dodge allows him to disappear. So mm -hmm. he did in the last patch, the cloud patch, he received a sweet spot on his up air. So if he hits anybody right now and stays with that, that's instant death. Ooh. Oh, that up tilt. Wow. It's like that up tilt of the move is that that shouldn't have that much knockback. He's yeah. just twirling this stick around. Yeah. I'm not quite sure why the heck that move <laughs> has so much strength. But then again, though, Villager seems to be probably one of the more uh, diverse characters I've seen here in Smash now. I've expressed thoroughly like how I felt that Brawl had a pretty much more diverse roster than Smash 4 does. But Villager, though, is a definite exception. Though. He's a, uh, wow, that character himself. Villager's got diverse pockets. You've got an umbrella. You can drop you've a got forward a Smash. <laughs> you've got seeds to plant a tree. You got the water bucket. You got balloons. You got a Lloyd rocket. You got a bowling ball. <laughs> yeah, those pockets are pretty diverse. Very diverse. Oh, good up smash right there, keeping Mewtwo at bay. He's trying to get over there to Lucario and help as Lucario's having a bit of an issue recovering, but in not having none of that, oh. doing a very fantastic job at the team synergy. Oh, oh, fell out of his forward smash. Oh, the forward smash. Oh, it doesn't kill him. No. Wow. That, that extra weight that Mewtwo received probably saved him there. Yeah, definitely, man. Shout out to Daddy Sakurai for that. Okay, now the uh, pretty much all evened out now. Now the blue team uh, sitting in the hot seat a little bit. We got a fresh pit right now, fishing for low percent combos, and we got a uh, we got Mewtwo and Lucario right now sitting in the hot seat. Now we do have Lucario with a little bit of R on his side. Mewtwo unfortunately does not receive that same treatment. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, the forward smash and, by Pitt. Now, he autopiloted a little bit into Mewtwo's combos. Mewtwo's jab to downs is usually how you start off a lot of his combos, and he just autopiloted just a little oh. bit. 
that nair to well it was an up smash by n so it was it was a cross team combo there yes Ooh, the, another forward smash by N. He's got a couple kills under his belt in the last uh, 30 or 40 seconds. Yeah, and I feel like in doubles, well, smash attacks aren't something that you normally throw, so maybe the blue team um, isn't quite ready for that. Oh, wow, get get dunked on, but he's making no. it back. Oh, nice the tech. tech. Oh, wow, and almost oh. okay, almost free fell. Skillers are doing a very good job at giving N a little bit of coverage. I'm not quite sure where Nev was at in that situation, but I feel like if Nev might have been able to show, he might have been able to uh, force that stage spike that uh, Pizza was looking for, but... Uh -oh. oh no, he'll be okay. Now both of them have uh, both of the blue team characters have a fully charged neutral. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're going to try to bait something or if they're getting a little nervous I think because Mewtwo they're down two stocks. Yeah, I think Mewtwo actually shot his. Now that's one thing I've always hated about the charge characters is that if you get hit while you're in your shooting animation, you just lose it all. Yeah, like, and sometimes you don't even know you lost it. Okay, and one thing Mewtwo, especially in the hands of Nev, has a very good uh, air mobility. And Nev is very good at punishing air dodge. Like, that is his thing. I'm, I haven't quite seen any spikes from Nev yet, especially on Pit. Now, Pit, uh, not going to necessarily say a lackluster recovery, but. Oh, oh the joy. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. And even in this thing out. Yeah. I will say it's even because even though even though Lucario has a lot of damage, he has his aura on his Now, side. this is a re-grab by Lucario. Okay, is able to get back on stage. I think they're going to want to try to trade maybe Mewtwo going against Villager and Lucario going against N, just like this. Because Pizza was struggling, and Villager was doing a great job at uh, blocking Pizza yeah. from recovering back on stage. Yeah, he was. Oh, and the up smash, the, the canceled up smash. Okay, I was going to say the raise up smash could up could be possibly enough to take him out right oh. now. Now this is rough because In is he's stuck. He knows he doesn't want to. Oh, 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 oh he reversed it. He what? reversed it. What? Oh. Oh. oh, that's that 7-10 split. Oh, no. That's that 7-10 oh, split. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, not again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and where's Quasit? Wombo oh, Combo. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Where are you oh. at? Where? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get styled on our That was not gentlemen. a gutter ball, ladies and gentlemen. No, that sir, was a perfect pickup. We're bowling turkeys in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh man, I Mew! Hey, Mew Fu is not a joke. <laughs> Mew Fu is not a joke. Mew Fu is real. Dude, Nev's got the straight face. He's just, look at that! Look at that stare! Look at that stare! Oh no! Look at the stare! Oh no! <laughs> oh. oh man! Oh man! Not again! I know! Not again! Skillager, look at Skillager. He's just like I'm. Oh. Mm. Sometimes you just get stopped. <laughs> Skillager's like, do I do a character pick? Do I change my name? Now, <laughs> I know. Do I leave the country and start a new life? <laughs> oh. And Kid Flash giving me the, the brain full of an explosion <laughs> meme right now. Cause, oh. oh, my goodness. Very now, fantastic I saw gameplay. The I've never seen the bowling ball from when it's falling down off the stage. I've never seen how high up it goes. I've seen doubles like on, uh, on Battlefield. Villager will drop it off the top platform. Yes, sir. Mario will cape it. Mm -hmm. Villager drops down to pocket his own bowling ball. Yes. Now, this was a long time ago before uh, the doubles, you know, Everything. your own teammate patch, extra damage, all that nonsense yes, sir. Uh, was uh, deleted. But I've never seen the how far up mm -hmm. the bowling ball would go up when you reflect it off stage. Absolutely, man. I'm thrilled that happened. I'm so excited to watch that because uh, that's something everyone can learn. Mm -hmm. You know, even Mario players, uh, Mewtwo players, Fox players. Yeah. Wow. I'm still just in <laughs> awe at that last set. What a way to reset the Excuse me. The that's bracket. right. That's a reset. It was looking like blue team was done for. What a way to reset the bracket here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. And like you said, the blue team were looking very distraught. The light into the tunnel was definitely gone. But they used some of that aura and some of that psychic shadow energy, man. They lit that tunnel back up. Hit him with that nice uh, assumes. Oh, wow. Empty hop into forward smash from Pit. That's a good mix-up because he's been doing the, the short hop forward airs, uh, short hop back airs. Mm -hmm. uh, really good mix-up to empty short hop. That's a, a very underutilized move by all players in all fighting games. Even Street Fighter, that's a really good move to do, just an empty hop. Yes, sir. Empty hop, yeah, it's pretty good. And especially, like you said, in Street Fighter, we got guys in here like Ryu. That's that's very uh that's very implemented into his gameplay, man. Short hop into dare, footstool. I mean, mm -hmm. seen a lot of those gifts on, uh, on social media, so... 
Short hop in any fighting game, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely a good oh. thing. Wow, and another forest match. Pit is on fire right Pitt's now. Pit's upset that bowling ball hit him. It is Pit it's or like Dark Pit. He's a little angrier. <laughs> I, wow. I know there's the running joke of, you know, N going to uh, Dark Pit mm -hmm. or Stain Pit. Why doesn't he just use the colors of Dark Pit as regular Pit? Mm. Gets the best of both worlds. True, confused the opponent a little <laughs> bit. It's like, wow, is Electro Shot going to kill me at 5% or <laughs> are you regular Pit here? I can't tell the difference. But I've seen Zero's tier list. He actually had um, Dark Pit at the top of the high tiers. Hmm. Yep. Not not the the top tiers, but the high tiers. So starting off with, uh, obviously, Dark Pit. I've seen uh, Falcons in there a little bit, too, somewhere. Uh, regular Pit, obviously, is in there as well, too. So The only Dark Pit that comes to my mind is uh, Nairo has a pocket Dark Pit. Yes, sir. It's actually a secondary. It's so I wonder good. if that's why he put it top of the high tier. Uh, it's, uh, well, he has a lot of the same uh, attributes as regular Pit, but sure. Electro Shot kills sure. super early. And I think that was the, I think that was the Cloud Patch 1.13 back in December that gave him that very early Ooh. Electro Shot kill. I remember watching Chompy in Chicago bait out air dodge and just kill the opponent off stage with that. Okay. But I respect people uh, like N sticking with them. I would rather play Lucina than Marth. I totally agree Marth is a better character, but character loyalty. Yes, oh, sir. the team combo down there to up air, and that was the triple turn up that killed Lucario. Absolutely, man. Now, Cody's been getting a lot of one turn ups, one, uh, singles and doubles, but hasn't really been getting a lot of the triple ones here lately. So He gets them in the clutch moments. Yeah, he does. Oh, wow. Okay, nice jab right there, but Sally not quite enough. Now, oh. It's really rough for Villager because I'm not quite sure if he's very up-to-date on the Mewtwo match. And I know Mewtwo has just gotten good. Mewtwo's been kind of oh, low-key low good for a while. Vill Villager pocketed the fully charged, uh, it was either Aura from Lucario. I think he just threw it right there. Okay, that should have so broke his shield. But. It, was, it was close. And it might not have been fully charged, but still, a pocketed uh, opponent's neutral special is dangerous. Yes, sir. Now, the green team, they're mad right now. They're mean. They're green. They're ready to, uh, to win this thing, you know. Oh, wow, and almost pocketed once again now. Villager, uh, Cody has told me a couple times that he uh, B reverses the pocket. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah, you're dead. He B reverses the pocket because it gives him brief intangibility. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely, man. And Cody and N taking that one in a very uh, semi-dominating fashion there. Three stocks? Yeah. Wow. And I think uh, was it, it was Villager that only lost, uh, that had two stocks left. It was at a low percentage. Even N was at... Pretty low percentage, if I remember it. He was only at like 40%. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the Twitch chat, if you're watching, I need that last, I need that last set, Giffy Cat. <laughs> I need that. I need the side B from Mewtwo taking out uh, uh, Skillager plus N. I need that. Just somebody, anybody, tweet that to either myself or this man, HL underscore Lincoln with a Please K do. on Twitter. Please let us know because uh, we need that. As Bizarro Flame once famously said, who's about to get Jiffy Catted? today yeah <laughs> he always went for the jiffy cats he actually came out of retirement i saw yeah um he moved in with his girlfriend or something and he was he's now job hunting uh there was like a go fund me to get him to go to evo well i mean uh, you uh, went in local tournaments all the time you should have a little money under your belt you know <laughs> he's a lawyer like true don't tell me money's short like, true he could be lying to you. he's a lawyer though money might not that, be short you might know? not be winning his cases so. true <laughs> now everybody can be phoenix right Oh, objection. Objection. Here we go right now. Next game. No more Lucario. I uh, think he's the character tired of, change. Yeah. I think he's tired of dying early. He wasn't quite ready for the aggression that the green team had. That's one Lucario's flaws. He needs to, He needs time to kind of space you out and set up. Um, he's actually going Mark. Mark can tangle with Villager, believe it or not. Oh, wow. You're not going to stage spike him. No, sir. But almost popped all the balloons. But I like what he did there. He just threw his back air actually into the mm -hmm. stage, which extended it, trying to take out the balloons and not so much Villager. But even popping the balloons for Villager, it actually pops him up a little bit. I think a, a nerf that would be devastating for Villager players like Skillager, Renai, MVG, is if Villager had only two balloons instead of three on the up air. Or yes. does he only have two? I think he has three. Turnups? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, balloons. When he does his up special. Oh, it's just two. It's just two, absolutely. Okay, he would be hurt if he lost one of those balloons. Because I've seen all like one balloon pop, but he's got the other one that saves him. I'd, I'd be okay. Oh, wow. Oh, the reflector. And the reflector, yes. again, coming in in the clutch for Mew too, man. Very fantastic job right there from LTL Nev. Now, what I will say is that um, I wish that if once we pop the balloons, that he actually... Uh, didn't pop up. Yes. The villager pops yes. up, he still makes it back onto the stage. Now, if they took that away, I'd actually be okay. I've seen many times you pop all the balloons and be like, oh, I got him, and then he just pops up 
10 feet. And he's like, oh, uh, okay, you know, he's fine. Yeah. No, you know, we're Snap living. the ledge. That's fine. Absolutely now. I'm not uh, mad. Now the blue team and the green team are trying to keep this one neck and neck here, ladies and gentlemen. But Mewtwo gets caught at the last second with the up smash. Now Mewtwo has a bit of an issue landing. That's one of his biggest flaws. And that's what, uh, you know, Nev's been using the B reverse and the side special. Mm -hmm. um, the air dodges because he goes invisible. You can mix up a lot of the stuff, but it's still punishable if you get hit. Very punishable. Oh, and the fully charged uh, neutral special from Marth. Yes, sir. Uh, goes through the Lloyd Rocket and hits a Villager, but Villager right there with the, once again, gets good turnips on that pull. Yes, he does, man. And the things are looking a little bit brighter for Skillager, I know. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, trying to get the Ledge Trump backer, but the disappearing act from Mewtwo's magic show <laughs> here is, is, uh, is, is not the funnest thing to deal with. Now, Pit is going to have a bit of an issue with Marth. Pit obviously is, oh, wow. Uh, Pit, sadly, uh, needs to really be up on you, up close and personal to really do a lot of solid damage. Mm -hmm. And you know, Marth he doesn't even need to throw forward smashes or down smashes to keep you out. I mean, he just jumps in the air and just hits the C-stick. I mean, even the jab alone is enough to keep you at bay. Wow, and the forward air from Mewtwo, goodness gracious, showing us why he is, in fact, the strongest Pokemon to ever, <laughs> to ever <laughs> touch the game. I was created to be the strongest. Yeah, like... I mean, he's like all the good aspects of all the Pokemon, but just angry. That doesn't sound that doesn't sound fun. Okay, now Mewtwo still on a very strong two stocks as well as in, and we're gonna have to. Oh, oh woo, didn't whoa, tech whoa, whoa, whoa. it. Didn't tech it, but he di'd it. Yeah, he did okay. di properly. Now, like I said, and it's gonna have a bit of an issue with uh, with Marv. Now he's gonna have to play on his P's and Q's, man, because he's fishing for those tippers. I've noticed that. Uh Pizza, his Marv, he's been doing a much better job uh, all of a sudden in the past few seconds. Never, never mind. Whatever. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, and he stole it right when he lost his life. I feel like Marth might be a little bit better in this 2v1 situation. Oh, I was going to say the opposite. Really? Well, I just he feel just like reflected the bowling ball. True, <laughs> he did that, but he also did that in a 2v1. We also have to factor in that Mewtwo has a bit of an issue landing, and I know that Pit's going to be fishing for a lot of up smashes. Yeah, uh, true. But, yeah, he, he does have the reflector. That is a good point. Wow. But I was uh, saying earlier that Pizza's been doing a much better job at uh, spacing out his short hop nares and forward airs. Yes. Um, but in this situation, it's you gotta be very careful what you're gonna, when you're gonna go in, who you're gonna punish for what. I think it'd be better if Marth stays away from Villager. Like Villager's just gonna stay back and be campy and throw out the projectiles. Mm -hmm. Just keep N and his Pit in front of Skillager's Villager, because those projectiles are gonna hit Pit. Definitely. Oh wow. Oh, wow. That's, uh, okay. that's yep. it. Okay. Absolutely. Again, that's three stocks that green team had at the end of that. Absolutely. And Pitt holding it down for Lady Palutena. <laughs> Skiller just trying to get the download. What are they, what are they saying? <laughs> I think he's saying just witch time him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, but for real, though. Just go cloud. Yeah, go just cloud. Go cloud. Mm. Oh, character switch? We are joking. Oh, he's going back to Lucario. Okay. Okay. I thought he was actually going to go Cloud. <laughs> actually, that wouldn't be bad here in this double situation. Cody expressed thoroughly he's not the biggest fan of fighting Cloud with Villager. Who is the biggest fan of fighting? The only pe person, the only character I feel comfortable against going Cloud with is Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Absolutely. Uh, finals, if Pizza gets a say in this, it's going to go Final Destination uh, Gar playing. Is yes. It Gar? Gower. Gower? Gower? Gower playing. Dude, why isn't that character in the background in this game? He actually <laughs> is in the regular version of this stage. Uh, true, true. Yeah. But I'm saying playable character. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, uh, I, I don't follow Xenoblade. I thought that was Alex. Alex is a big Xenoblade maybe, fan. Maybe that is a shout-out to Korn in the future. Look at that chainsaw sword. True. He's like, oh, we're going to get this weapon in this game. True. You just watch it. Okay, we switched back to Team Pokemon. I think they uh, they had something good going there. Mark was a, a very reasonable switch, a very idealistic switch, but mm -hmm. this wasn't quite enough, man. Um, Sally, sometimes you just got to go with what you know. Now, I know Pizza has a very, very prominent Falcon, very prominent Wario, but today he's feeling Lucario. And they'll, sh they'll throw out their neutral specials much more once Villager pockets one of them. Yeah. Like, they keep them fully charged or close to fully charged, and they're just waiting for to be clear to throw it. Mm -hmm. Like, granted, Pit does have a reflector, but you're, you're never going to see Pit use it. It can only reflect so much, too. Right. So it'll, it'll either break it, and there's just so much end lag, regardless yeah. if you reflect it or not. It's Absolutely. I don't know why that moves in the game. Yeah. I believe it's a oh, hit, hit reflector from Brawl. I liked a little better. A side special by Pitt. It wasn't Dark Pit side special, but it was enough to get the job done. Definitely. Very, uh, very deceptive move, man. Very rough to deal with. Okay, so here we go right now. Mewtwo, 114 
percent right now still hanging in there villager at a very very strong 49 man doing what he's supposed to do camping this thing out and picking things up so he's definitely doing one of those two right now and camping it out is definitely more uh, up into his uh oh wow hit lucar with a very unfortunate oh it's a uh, front tilt yeah forward throw oh forward throw okay yeah, forward throw uh, he has a very strong forward throw. Captain Falcon, uh, Bayonetta, a few yep. characters with very strong forward throws. You have the legend stage at a high percent. You might want to watch out, buddy. Wow, and it's, I guess it's very good uh, for comboing, too. And right now is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Him being a very, very prominent factor in the last two games. Uh, him, actually, with the two stocks and not Cody. The last two, three stocks was with him. Oh, wow. The Nair, the little cartwheel to take out Lucario. Yeah. Uh -oh. Now, a oh. command throw would will kill. <laughs> yeah. Nice spot dodge. Okay. Got, got, the, got the ore bomb, yeah. Wow, and big damage. And just came back. Eight, 23%. It's not even three seconds on the stage. <laughs> he was like, oh, you lost your invincibility. Here, eat here, this. Here's one of these. Uh-oh, Lucario should get out there and help Mewtwo, but Mewtwo finding a way. Okay, so one thing I really like about Mewtwo is that if he doesn't use any of his jumps, if he just runs off stage and you press up on the control stick and down on the C stick at the same time, he'll actually fly up and do a spike. And oh. I think that's that's how he's trying to catch oh. Villager. Great job by uh, Pizza Lucario to punish uh, the up tilt from Skilliger's Villager. Mm -hmm. He did a uh, forward smash and took out Villager. Yes, Very sir. smart to wait for that up tilt to finish. Mm -hmm. Lucario is oh. probably the one character with all the counters that you got to be the most careful of because he flies across the entire stage. He could hit everyone in that counter, Absolutely, no matter man. where you are. Definitely very deceptive. His his is very scary to deal with. I know uh, Shulks is a very strong one. Obviously, we have the you know, Corrin. Corrin. <laughs> Corrin is very, very strong as well, too. But hers is very, very obvious, though. The ones that are probably the sneakiest ones are um, Shulk, Lucario, and probably Greninja. You just mm -hmm. you don't really know when they're doing it. You're like, wow, I didn't even know you were countering, man. And you could do something tricky, at least with Lucario. Um, because when he does the counter, he flies in the opposite direction. Yes. So if you've got your doubles teammate, he's like, hey, hit me real quick. And try to do like a sneak attack on the opponent. But that would be a really tricky setup and, and risky. Maybe too much risk for the little reward. True. Absolutely. Well, that back throw is not going to kill Lucario yet. Oh, oh, and the shadow ball, still not quite oh. enough. We need Lucario to throw out a couple of his aura shots. And I know his will definitely kill, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, and the back, back air. air. The ill-fated back air, ladies and gentlemen, from Lucario taking him out, keeping Villager right now in the stuck in a 2v1 situation. Now, I, don't, I do not expect to see a share stock at all. Oh, oh try to go for a footstool, but it's Villager. It's not. Uh. Frametraps.com, and we're both charging up the Kamehameha right now. <laughs> it's Goku and Vegeta getting ready, to, <laughs> getting ready to throw down against Villager. No, this is more of like father-son, so this is go, Gohan and Goku. True. <laughs> Which one's the dad, though? Will Mewtwo be the dad? Um, Mewtwo? But then Mewtwo's probably younger than Lucario. Oh, my gosh. Since I he's a clone. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that. Nice. Ne oh, no. Ooh. That was the wrong one. And the sweet spot up air. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the Cloud 1.13 patch back in December gave him a sweet spot on that up air. Now, here we go. Another 1v1 <gasps> oh, situation. Oh, I need Lloyd that. Rocket. Yeah, Cody was fishing for it here. And he's not going to be able to throw out this neutral special. He's going to have to get the hardest of reads. Now, keep in mind, if he chops the tree down on Mewtwo, he can throw it back. But Villager but can, then Villager can, can pocket, pocket it, it one yeah. more time. And then after that, uh, Mewtwo can't deal with it anymore. Okay, the tree is out of play here, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the edge of our seats here today. Uh, now, what percentage would you say that uh, Villager's got to get to for a kill throw? About 120 for an up throw? Uh, up throw? From Mewtwo or, or back or, throw? Or Villager. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh. For Mewtwo to do a throw on Villager. Oh, up throw? Uh... I say probably about 100 and 115, 120. He okay. should be good to go. Oh, oh, oh. Mew Fu is real, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that forward smash or forward air. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, absolutely. Some very, very strong buffs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a little salt right there, but it is what it is right now in grand final. Now that makes the score. I gotta see the score, but was that two two? Uh, that makes it 2-1, actually. 2-1, okay. Definitely hanging in there at the last second. That one came down to the wire. I'm definitely feeling this poke. I mean, it's been a very Pokemon day today. It, it has been. Maybe that's because, hey, Pokemon tournament? Yeah. We got to bust out Mewtwo and Lucario. We might have to do that, man. If they ever run dubs in a in their uh, in pocket tournament, maybe like a tagging thing, like Tekken Tag Ooh. or something, you and I might have to do that, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing in Smash here. Or some patch where you can use any character for an assist, kind of like a Marvel vs. Capcom oh, kind of thing. I mean, but then we're going to end up with Mew, uh, 
Magneto, oh, no. Virgil slash Dante and Sentinel. Oh, no. Right, and that's pretty much the, the top-tier team in, in uh, Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom yeah. 3. You never know, though. People are feeling a Reg Rim and, uh, and Cresselia today in terms of support. So pretty, they're pretty strong, pretty good. But we'll see, man. You and I are going to get some friendlies in, hopefully. After oh, I, wa I want it because I want to use Cubone and Diglett for my oh. assist. No matter how good they are or how bad, I, I want to use them. Boomerang. It has a Gale's Boomerang type thing to it, so oh, it pulls okay. the opponent close. So. Yeah, we're definitely going to get into that. But before that, we're going to get into this match. Grand Finals, bracket reset, too. Here we go. Uh, dang Fundamentals, reset the bracket. But they're still down the game right now to Skillager plus Ents, too. Now, this this is going to be a it's a very strong stage for all these characters. Uh, probably more Mewtwo and Villager more than anything. Um, N has to focus on staying on stage, not getting gimped by Mewtwo, and not getting oh. caught in the um, in the pineapple. The forward throw by Lu uh, the excuse me, the command grab by Lucario almost killed uh, Pit. Definitely all the way to the right, but good DI by N. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh wow! So many short high back oh, airs. No. And, oh, that's that's me, bro. And actually <laughs> took out his took out his teammate. That's Very the, unfortunate. That's the second time Nev has taken out Pizza. Those yeah. are the last two stocks he's taken out. Mm -hmm. Wow, nice reflector right there. Side special coming in very handy for Mew, too. Villager not liking that at all, man, especially a character who's supposed to wall you out. You got a guy who can throw everything back. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Now, in one of the patches, they got rid of that where you could uh, charge the neutral special with Lucario and then uh, do a jump cancel up smash. But one of the patches uh, changed that. I'm not sure which one it was. Yeah. Oh, that good was definitely needed. Yeah. Now, he actually did. He caught uh, Villager in the aura ball right there as he was charging. Mew, too, seen it too late. Tried to go for the forward air. And that would have been a very strong team combo. But regardless right now, the green team still sitting uh, semi in charge right now in terms of stocks and in percentages. Oh, oh, oh good oh back air. Oh, my God. Aura, back air. Cody, I, Cody must have forgot. He used to team <laughs> with this guy, all right? What, what was that great aerial move that Lucario has? Oh, I can't remember. Ah, <laughs> oh, the back air. Ouch. <laughs> oh, good. Good job by uh, Lucario to cover... Uh, Mewtwo, he was trying to recover, and then he threw an aura mm -hmm. uh, sphere all the way across stage to hit Pit. Yes, sir. Wow. Now, they're being a little more, uh, what, I don't want to say conservative, but I would say the other way. Mm -hmm. They're throwing, that's the fourth fully charged neutral special that both characters have used. Absolutely. Now, this is rough right here for Pit because uh, Mewtwo has a lot of, uh, he has a lot of options right out of charge. A lot of good mix-up options there that I'm sure Pit might not be quite used to, especially in the up-close game. Oh, but of course he takes his team out. Closing the gap just a little smaller right now. Four stocks to three here. But Pitt is in a kill percentage where I was gonna, I'm was i surprised he didn't do up throw. Yep. Maybe because no rage, he, was, he didn't think that would kill? Possibly. I don't know. But back throw on, the, on that edge of the stage wasn't a bad option. Oh, my God. Absolutely, Up throw yes. just killed now, so it probably wouldn't have killed before. Yeah. Okay, and just like that, things looking very, very bright for the uh, blue team. Excuse me, not the green team. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh, fortunate friendly fire right there on both teammates. Now, the green team, they do have a chance to bring this back. You know, this is probably going to have to play a bit more conservative, like you said. Um, obviously, Pitt, Pitt might have to be the aggressor. I know that's easier said than done, but I'm not quite sure if he's used to the Mewtwo match at oh. all. I was oh. going to say, maybe they should be conservative. However, Lucari was at 150%. Yeah. You know, Rage and Aura. You don't want to be too conservative. You want to get rid of him. Definitely. And a good forward smash by N to take him out. Yeah, absolutely, man. You got to get rid of him at all costs. Oh, wow. Don't hit me with the, that back, with the back air. <laughs> Don't hit me with that, bro. <laughs> hit them. I think uh, I know all characters in the game, like Cloud, Matt, Lucario, a certain percent, uh, Captain Falcon, those might be some characters you don't want to take friendly fire. True. Yeah, not not those guys, unfortunately. Just just not them. Uh-oh. Now everyone's playing a little conservative. Uh, ends Mewtwo, the only one with two stocks at this uh, at the moment. Absolutely, man. Nev is a... But if he get, ooh. and but if he gets gimped, oh no! If he just gets just hit, uh, okay, so, something. Like yeah, he wanted to like short hop off the ledge and then throw the back, but the backer comes out so slow, does get the up throw. Now we're gonna see probably a lot of throws here from the blue team to obviously break up the green team's team synergy and then hopefully try to jump one of them. But I know that's easier said than done. Wow. Uh oh. Oh, is that oh almost got hit by the bowling ball. But the charge <laughs> shot not quite enough not to take that, out. No, that di is godlike. Absolutely. Now we got oh, it ends out there. So now we're going to see some more. I don't know if they're going to be as liberal with their uh, with their fully charged oh, shots. That's it. That's uh, it. <laughs> that's it. It might have been it. <laughs> yeah. Now it's it's rough because Villager wants to basically space shot with projectiles, but you also have to factor in Wispy Woods blowing 
mm. you towards Villager. True. And that's range. That's area that Villager does not want you in. He needs that wall of defense. Agreed. Well, this is just like the bracket reset where Dang Fundamentals brought it back. Mm. They uh, Nev got that bowling ball double kill to reset the bracket. So now it's 2-2. This is the – it's at least game 10 that they've played each other. I would assume they met in winner's side. Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this all comes down to this. If you guys are just tuning in, it is RC and my good friend HL Lincoln right now. We're trying to give you that hot commentary here for Grand Finals. This is game five here at Hypertension, our monthly Smash 4 and newly introduced Pokemon tournament event. And other than that hot commentary, we're trying to give you the hot looks. We're, we're trying to dress up our – This this guy here, though. <laughs> busting out the blazers. This guy so. here. Wow, man. <laughs> Dapper Dan, to say the absolute <laughs> least. A HL Dapper Dan. Oof. <laughs> Might be a temporary name change on Twitter. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Doing a very fantastic job. But here we go right now, getting into what is the final game for both teams. Now the thing Battlefield, is, okay. And no switch. Still running Mewtwo Lucario. If it's got you this far, might as well, right? I don't think they won any games when he was Marth. Or if they did, it was a too close. A losing record. Yes. Maybe like maybe they won one game but lost two. So mm -hmm. they played so many games against each other, it's hard to keep track. Yes. I agree with the Pokemon Sage. You got Pokemon Tournament. Uh, they're on a pretty decent, I wouldn't say winning streak, but they've won... Uh, nine out of the, – they've won the best of nine lately. Yes. So Now, I feel like what the green team has is uh, both of the green team's characters, they're very strong 1v1 – oh, excuse me, characters, <laughs> um, especially Villager. And of course, uh, N is no no punk either, man. He definitely gives the hands when needed. The issue with the blue team is what they have over them is that they have the range that a lot of them – a lot of their opponents might not be able to deal with. Charge or shots – then on top of that, a lot of people don't really know how to deal with Mewtwo in the air. It's hard to read his directional influence because of the, uh, his air dodge. He disappears. Then True. on top of that, you have Lucario with the R shots as well. Then he has the Rage on top of that, too. Not the most easy character to fight in the game. And I don't know if it's the stage or they're just like, feeling a little off right now, but Mewtwo's already at 122%. Lucario lost a stock. Villager's sitting at 43% and, and just got to 100%. Yeah. Uh-oh. Now the side B is out the picture. Now he has got hit one more time, but his high B does not recharge until he snaps ledge and threw the slingshot back at Villager, giving him just that slight window of opportunity to come back. Wow, this is a lot closer than I had expected to be here in this next game. You know, now usually Cody, when his back is against the wall, he does a very – oh, wow, oh, he's seen that coming. Yep. He baited out. He threw the down to the out, knowing that that would force uh, Nev to try to come up off the ledge now. Uh, we're probably going to see Cody play more of the stock tanking role here. We haven't seen him play that at all here today. Oh, that crab range by Mewtwo, not as, yeah, a not as good as it looks. Yeah, a little lackluster, man. Looking more like Bayonetta's grab range. Oh. Wow, and just like that, evened everything back out, man. The blue team, they're not going down without the fight, and neither is the green team, man. He said, if we're going down, we're going down swinging, you hear me? Ah. Oh, that, that, Mewtwo's grab range is just – it's disappointing me. Yeah, it's it's pretty rough, but it's pretty good out of shield, though. You touch a shield, that's sure. pretty much confirmed grab. True. Okay, so Lucario right now at 122%, but you know what, though? That's all right, because I got, got some aura on my side. I'm getting ready to start throwing my weight around here pretty soon. That's kind of like a Rage Little Mac. Like, you think, oh, Little Mac's already at 150%, but that's a scary percent. Yeah, he's like and Little Mac, but better. I, I'm not mad at uh, Pizza's ability to basically challenge Cody off stage. I'm glad that he likes that, because Cody wants that fight off stage. He knows mm -hmm. one false move from either of these guys, especially Lucario, is an easy gimp. Now, I haven't seen, maybe he's afraid of the, the end lag, but I haven't seen uh, Pizza throw a counter off stage. Oh, oh wow. the bowling ball. He said, don't ever, don't ever reflect my bowling ball ever again, bro. Now, this was the stage where that bowling ball two for one uh, kill happened. Yes, sir. Where it could have ended the bracket before the reset. So, I don't think we'll see that. I think the odds of seeing that are very slim, but very. I would not count Blue Team out. However, they're down a couple stocks. Mm -hmm. Pits at that point where a command throw from Lucario will kill. An up throw from U2 will kill. Mm -hmm. but they got to be pretty careful. Mm -hmm. Definitely do. Now, what i just seen there from Neva Segedo, he was running in and out with Mewtwo. He can act out of his trots very, very quickly, or he can shield approach very, very quickly as well, too. And what he, usually a lot of guys with good grab do, like they'll, they'll run in and out, and then the minute you don't the minute you don't attack and you're shielding or you drop shield, they just come right in and grab you and up throw. And I think that's what he's fishing for right here. I've noticed all of the characters have been throwing out attacks off stage. Uh, to try to hit their opponent right away. Not exactly reading an air dodge. Yes, sir. Um, even though every person on both teams has air dodged immediately. Yeah. Um, I think if one player uh, does a uh, correct 
air dodge read, that would get an earlier kill. And that's gonna, that's wow. Okay, Mewtwo is living, man, with those lovely weight buffs. Oh, oh and the, rage, the back air. Back air. Okay. Absolutely, man. Watch yourself on this stage, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and oh. it, it's still looking, it's still looking oh. more in the green team's favor here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. But oh. if Pitt had uh, just jumped and air dodged or rolled or side or uh, sidestep that, that actually would have hit Lucario. Yeah, would have. And that would have uh, ended his stock instantly. Yeah, would have. Okay, now Cody doing a very good job at covering all get up options there. Mewtwo trying to make it back to stage as quick as possible to not force the 2v1 on Lucario because I know that Lucario does want some damage, but Lucario. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Okay, Lucario, unfortunately, uh, he could take some damage, but he was in max style rage at this point, so. Oh, ledge trump. That's going to be regrab. Oh, wow. Regrab for both characters, yeah. Back on stage. Uh oh. Oh, that's me. Oh, oh, oh no, person. villagers that nothing. Uh, percent right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'll, I'll eat it. No big deal. Oh, uh, the back air. That's going to do it. Congratulations to Skilliger and N for winning the doubles bracket at hypertension today. Absolutely, man.